Now, the Delhi High Court has upheld the validity of the national anti-profiteering provisions under the GST Act. This comes as a legal setback for top FMCG companies like HUL, Nestle, Johnson & Johnson, among others, which had questioned the constitutional validity of the law. Ashmit joins us now with more details. Ashmit, uh, take us through what the court has ruled in this matter. Of course, an appeal is possible in the Supreme Court, but where does this leave the anti-provision law of the GST? Well, indeed, a key decision this coming in from the Delhi High Court, the High Court upholding Section 171, which is the anti-profiteering provision of the GST Act. It is this provision which essentially mandates that for any tax foregone, it needs to be passed on as a commensurate reduction in price. Now, uh, this was the very provision, alongside with various other rules, that was contested fiercely uh, by a huge number of players. More than 50 companies were before the Delhi High Court, the likes of HUL, Johnson & Johnson, Nestle, uh, Abort, Jubilant Foods. Uh, all of them had raised the question not so much on the intent, on the spirit of the legislation in question, which is uh, passing on the benefit, but rather the implementation of Section 171. Uh, they had argued that there is no mechanism which provides for fixing. There is no formula for fixing this quantum of profiteering, and therefore this section is vulnerable to abuse. That was the concern raised. Now, all of this has been answered by the Delhi High Court. The High Court, number one, has upheld uh, the constitutional validity. Uh, uh, second, the Delhi High Court has held that the mere possibility of an abuse cannot be ground, grounds for uh, nullifying the entire legislation, the, uh, nullifying the entire provision. Uh, so that argument has been struck down. Uh, the Delhi High Court has further reasoned as a part of its order that it is not required uh, for there to be a fixed formula hard-coded into the law for deciding this quantum of profiteering. Uh, the Delhi High Court has also upheld the power of the centre in terms of uh, the power to levy interest component on any delayed payments. And finally, the Delhi High Court concludes by saying that uh, this this entire piece of uh, provision, which essentially transfers the benefits on to the end consumer, uh, is something which is in public interest, which is in consumer interest, and there is no violation of any constitutional provisions, and therefore no grounds have been made out for striking it down. But let's keep in mind that this is uh, a direction, an order coming in uh, from a division bench of a Delhi High Court. This, of course, is vulnerable to challenge, can be challenged, can be appealed before the top court. All right, Ashput, appreciate you joining us. IT